Hello, here I am, it's Kat. Last night the father kept me up and talked to me about creating weather warriors. You know, you're the, you're supposed to control the weather. But you are the one that has authority over the weather. You're the weather man. You get out there or the weather woman, whichever it is, and you talk to that thing and you tell it you're not coming here. I command you to dissipate. For we divide and we separate even the winds, Lord, that would try to join together in combination. Grant us, O oh God, that this, uh, that this storm shall dissipate. So I'll take authority over the turbulence when flying. And way more times than not, the turbulence either never happens or it just it, it, it dissipates into where everything smooths out really quickly. We can have authority over storms. I'm going to demonstrate to you what to do when a storm comes, okay? It's forming into a hurricane. I'm here in Florida on the coast. The ocean's right there. Our ocean is right there, the Atlantic Ocean, and we are north of this storm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it off the coast. I'm going to command it to go out to sea and dissipate. You and I were doing what we'd been taught to do. We were going out and we were rebuking the storm and nothing happened. The door slams and then we hear, <laughs> we hear our little daughter so, I told you to be quiet in Jesus' name. And the storm just went, <sighs> but I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. Cindy and I, we're the adults, and we went out there and we rebuked the storm and nothing seemed to happen. And our daughter, who's a little five-year-old, who's heard the word all her life, goes out there and rebukes the storm and it stops. What would you say to teachers and preachers who teach this, and what would you say to the people who believe in this? And follow sure. Uh, number one, I'd say it doesn't seem to be working too well, uh, in that we, we had plenty of Christians in, in, in Texas and Florida and we weren't able to, to push back the, uh, the storm. So if we have the authority to, to do it, we're not doing a good job of it. That's the first thing. There's a, there's a technical term called millibars. And as, the, as those rise in the middle of the hurricane, the hurricane dissipates in strength. We command the millibars to rise and we command that storm, even as the eye of that storm, in the name of Jesus, you will move off to the coast. You will go off to the ocean. You will bounce off in a direction away from the coast. See why, why I see it doing is coming in towards Florida. And then, then, then the, believe me, the faith of the body of Christ moving in authority, we don't have to accept this destruction. I missed the advance because I was up uh, encountering a cyclone named Debbie up in <laughs> Brisbane and uh, cast her out, but it sounded like she might have showed up outside here just a few minutes ago while we were praying. <laughs> We have the power to affect change and to impact weather patterns and silent storms. Jesus did it in the Gospels. We're told that we can do the same works that he did. So I want us, I want our faith to increase. I want our faith to arise. And I want us to start praying against Hurricane Irma. Do you, do you believe the Bible teaches us though? That we, that we have authority over the weather? No, I don't believe the okay. Bible teaches us that. God has authority over the weather. We appeal to him, as you said, we pray for mercy, we pray for God to turn back the storm. Now, if God spoke to a believer like he spoke to Moses and said, you know, take your rod and turn back the storm, if God said that, he's God, we do what he says. But I'm not aware of him saying that. There's no scripture saying he's saying that. I do not see in the word that we have authority over weather. I have just flown in from my meetings in Seattle, Washington. And yet, I still have an assignment left to do. I'm going to demonstrate to you what to do when a storm comes, okay? It's forming into a hurricane. Immediately, Holy Spirit spoke to my heart, and he said, why don't you do something about it? And when he spoke that, he reminded me in the Gospels, when Jesus gets in the disciples' boat, it stands up in the boat, and there's that horrible storm, and he tells the storm to be still. He silences the storm, and the wind and the waves and everything immediately obeys and bows. And so all of a sudden, this faith stirred up in me, and I thought, okay, God, John 14, 12 says I'm to do the works that you do, that I can do those same works by your power within me. My spirit tonight 
wants to communicate to your spirit that God is saying over the tolerance of crazy mayhem, destruction in America and on America, enough. This is not the time of that for that judgment. And the only thing that can restrain it is a church that isn't praying nervous prayers and God help us prayers, but authoritative prayers. And I don't think we're I don't think we're there right now. I don't think we're built up for that yet. Last night the father kept me up and talked to me about creating weather warriors. I was saying to him, we need to have some people that could be like our weather watch people because I'm traveling all the time. I'm not aware of stuff going on. And I said, Lord, what do you want us to do? And he said, go to the highest point and direct your prayers, direct your intercessions into the very belly of the storm. And as we did, we had fun with it. We got up the highest point on the hillside and we started praying and decreeing straight up into the cloud. And we even pretended that our prayers were arrows and we were shooting the arrows of our prayers up into the cloud. And what was amazing is we said, no weather, no rain, no, no, interruption to what God is doing here, no hindrance to the Mongolians filling the hillside and coming to know Jesus and worshiping Jesus. And as we did, we watched. And over the course of the next 10 to 15 minutes, the the clouds split right down the middle and, and went to, to the horizon on each side of us. And we do have spiritual authority, but I don't believe literally that we can just tell a mountain to be relocated. I take that as a figure of speech talking about the power of faith in God. And we speak to the winds. We rebuke the winds that are encouraging and empowering this hurricane. And in Jesus' name, we speak to the winds and we command the winds to come and to work for us and not against us. You work in the love of God and not in the fear of the enemy. You undo that hurricane in Jesus' name. Winds aloft, cut the top of that thing off. Do what you're supposed to do. And every other wind, you cease and desist. And in that position and in that place, we stand and we say, Harvey, you come to nothing. nothing. In Jesus' name, Jesus. now undo, come undone. We curse this thing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We stand before you in faith we stand before you hallelujah declaring before you praise god that irma the hurricane is dead when jesus says we'll do the works that he did and even greater can you define the scope of that for your listeners and like, like what kind of works is he talking about and what kind of work is he not talking about? When he points to the works that he did, for example, in John 10 and John 14, it's almost always in the context of healings, miracles, exorcisms. And that's what we then see happening in the early church in the book of Acts. The same works that he did as an ongoing part of his ministry, we do as a sign of the advance of the kingdom and the compassion of God. Lord, Lord I thank you for what this offering represents for the hours of, of work and sacrifice of people here, for the extension of faith. And I pray that they would be richly blessed in their giving, that seed sown would really multiply into an amazing harvest in these offerings. Multiply them, Father. All authority in heaven and earth has been given unto us. We take that authority over that hurricane and command it to depart from Puerto Rico into the ocean. We intercede for the defenses. That's enough. It's enough already with these hurricanes. That's it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't care where justice is done, whether it's through the weather, through crime, through the ISIS, you have authority over it. You need to stand up body of Christ and start using that authority. Stop preparing for the big one to come. You be big in Christ and you stop it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it off the coast. I'm going to command it to go out to sea and dissipate. Go host, make toast off the coast. Woohoo!